Welcome back to Sussex Farm for episode 21 with me, Mr. Searley P. I'm at Plumpton and it's nearly ten past six in the evening. What's happened since the last episode? Well, I've done a few jobs, a few bits and bobs here and there. Only because I was trying to get time to go forward, so hopefully um, field eight with sugar beet in would be ready to harvest. So I could finish off the sugar beet harvest for Big Popper C. However, it's still not ready to harvest. <laughs> So uh, here's what I've done. Um, I had put, or I'd started with, um, what did I put in there? Barley in 28. I've done barley in 26. I did corn in 11. I've now put sunflower in six. That was turned and burned in six. It's now got sunflower in. 15 I said I was gonna do. That's now got soybean in. And 13, as you've already seen, has now got barley in. So I've been kind of just, yeah, turning the fields. 17 hasn't been muck spread yet. Uh, I have cultiplowed it, but I haven't muck spread it. Um, so that needs a fertiliser state on it. Field 20 is ready for something else to go in. And I'm just thinking to finish off my barley for Milson's maltings, I've got field 28, 26 and 13, all with um, barley in. As far as I stand at the moment, I've got 318,000 litres of barley and I need 500,000 litres, I think it was. So I need to get 180,000 litres off of those three fields, which I think I should be able to do. I think I should be able to do. We'll see how we go with that again. It will just be how it kind of plays out. Um, sugar beet, we're at 154,000 litres, uh, nearly 155,000 litres. So I need 45,000, wasn't it? Yeah, something like that, wasn't it? 45,000 litres of sugar beet to fulfil that contract. So it's actually not looking too bad at all. But what I have done, I've leased the um, Crone uh, Big Pack 12080 square baler. The next job I'm going to do while I'm waiting for the sugar beet, because I thought I'll finish off the sugar beet harvest off screen, I'll do a time lapse and I can start this episode. But as time's getting on, and it's going to get dark soon, I can't really start a big job. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab the crone. Big M, that is. And the baler has been delivered to the scrapyard. I'm going to collect it from there. Now, I've had a couple of comments left about the um, vehicle volume and not being able to hear me. Generally speaking, the volume is set so it all works very, very nicely. It's taken me a long time to get the balance right on the video and the audio, obviously, of my voice. The problem is some of the vehicles like Harvesters and like the Chrome Big M are more noisy and I can't bounce between, you know, one minute it's up, then it's down, then it's up, then it's down. What I should do is when I'm using these vehicles like Harvesters and noisier vehicles, I should speak up a bit and I have a tendency to mumble when I'm thinking in my head about doing something or I'll be going through a thought process I say it out loud but not always loud enough to be heard so I need to make sure I'm, I'm sort of doing that properly I think is what I need to do so I did the two grass fields already um, <clears throat> we'll go back to the map sorry I've got a real f frog in my throat today I don't know why uh, I did G4 and G5 down the bottom of the map that's what I did all the hay bales off and some of the hay and then I did hay all around here and up the side 
Um, I'm now going to do uh, G3 and G2 because G1 was the one I ploughed in, which was just here next to field 11. So G1 no longer exists. But there's plenty of grass all around the map anyway. Just these two, I think, have been fertilised. Did I do those a while back? Yeah. So they should have maximum yield on them. So I'm going to go and do G3, I think, first. No, I need 56 grass bales, which was an unusual amount, 56. I don't know why it wasn't 50 or 60 or for Jonathan. And Jonathan needs them. And in payment, I'll get... What happened there? I should get 10 cows. So it's well worth doing. Whoa, that went well. Can I, get, can I reach that? No. I can jump up on there. Okay. That's annoying. Okay. Think about this without going over the rocky outcrop. Can I get around there? There we go. So, let's open this out. for us the right implement, wouldn't it? Yes, of course it would. Let's turn that straight on if I can. Right, let's turn that on, drop that down, and we'll turn the baler on, drop the pickup down, and we'll see how many bales we get. This chrome setup with the big M and the big pack works really, really well because the actual um, hookup here for the um, baler is long enough that it keeps it away from the back of the big M. So yeah, it's good like this. Now, if you're wondering why um, I have done bailing a lot on this Let's Play, and I've used the auto loaders quite a lot. I know a lot of the kind of purist people out there do like um, manual bale stacking. On Lone Oak, I'm going to do manual bale stacking, say more manual bale stacking than, than this, um, is the plan. I've done a lot of manual bale stacking on various different Let's Plays. I've used the Arcusian auto stack. I've done all different ways of doing bales. And I thought on this let's play, I'm just going to use the auto load pack because I really do like that. It works really, really well. And I've done a lot of round bells, so I thought I'd do some square. And because this was a job that I wanted to try and get done before it gets dark, it seemed daft, you know, doing it any other way. I thought I'd just grab the chrome big M, grab a baler, let's get the grass bales made, get them picked up down to the docks, and then I've sorted out another contract for another happy customer, hopefully. though to yield off this bearing in mind this has got the full fertilizing state i'm not sure it's as high the bales don't seem to seem to be rolling out the back of here as quickly as they did down on fields g4 and g5 all 4,000 litre bales but for some reason the round baler just seems to be kicking out bales far far quicker maybe that's just me or maybe because actually i was wasn't fully on the field and that's why I was doing the edge, wasn't I? Now I'm on the middle section. They are coming out quicker because this is the higher, higher yield portion. Of course, you can see now where the difference is between the two. That's why I was going around the edge, and the edge isn't the actual field, is it? The fertilizable section is the slightly lighter section you can see. Oh, 
want to do bad authors because this is a new uh, I've come back into the game to record I should, my creative bales for this session will be uh, will be a fresh setting so it won't be mixed up with the bales I did the other day that's what I'm trying to say So let's see how many bells we've got. Crater bells, 28. That's half of what I need. How bizarre is that? Now I think the other field's smaller though. Well, we'll see how we get on. That's 28, we need 56. So over to the other field. Actually, I'm going to go a different way <laughs> to avoid that tree. I'm going to have to cut that down. Why don't you be fair? If I cut all of these down. Don't give me more grass there, but to be fair, I don't need any more grass. There's plenty of grass out past field 11 actually, going up the hill. That's weird. Why is the sniper over there? I'm racking my brains now. Have I, what have I used that for? I don't know. There's bits of machinery all over the place that bailers loading wagons. Anywho. I'm going to get over to field G2, do that, and then we'll see how we get on. I might even do a little bit along the side here by field 18. I never did my aggro forestry, did I? Between the trees there. I might lease the um, Religio Frere uh, plough, culty plough subsoil of thing, because that's brilliant. Anyway, I'll see you in a bit. Once this field's done, and we'll see what we're up to with our bales, and we should hopefully be okay. Pretty sure I've done more than I needed. Let's unload that. Not by many, but looking around the field. Yeah, I think what I've done. Right, let's close that up. Let's have a look. 63. Yeah, actually, quite a few over. What do I need? 56. So I've done seven more bales than I needed. I'm sure that'll be fine. These are going to go down to the docks. Um, and. I'll do a quick kind of me picking them up, taking them down there type deal. By the time that's all done, I'm going to check on the animals and it'll probably be bedtime. And then it'll be uh, round to the morning. Bit of water delivery, fuel delivery. Um, and I need to do TMR out to the livestock market for Barris because he wants his daily delivery uh, of, well, whatever I can do. But I'll do 70,000 litres. 
Um, so there'll be all my usual jobs that need to be done. That'll all be done off screen. You don't need to see all of that. I've done it a few times. The money obviously will go up because I'm going to do some water deliveries. I'm going to do a fuel delivery down to the docks because that needs to go off for Baron Papa. It needs to go off for Automan 13. The various different people that want fuel um, Farmer Kinnan at Hagenstead and you know, all the various different bods. So I will probably see you next or speak to you next in the morning. It's like the stars have aligned. <clears throat> I just finished the last um, load of uh, bales, so all 63 are down at the docks ready to be shipped. Um, checked in the map, and would you believe it? Field 8 is ready to harvest. So, what I'm doing at the moment is giving it another spray, which means I've got two fertilizer states on it. Although I think it's encountered the tree and stopped. Of course it has, why would it do it properly? Bear with me a minute. taking control seems the best option I think that's it Now realistically then, all I need is one full load off of this harvester. Because I need 45,000 litres to get me to 200,000, and that's what this holds, isn't it? 45 or 43? Of course you do. Now, as the last episode was all about uh, Biggest Beatiful and I did the sugar beet harvest, you don't need to see me doing the harvest. That's more than okay. Um, I'll go and get a trailer and hopefully, in no time at all, this will be full. We'll have our load. To be fair, 
I will carry on doing the harvest on this and clear the whole lot which will give me loads extra um, I might talk to Big Papa soon and see if he, he can take more than 200,000 maybe that would be something that will be handy I don't know I don't want to swamp them and overload them and then they've got nowhere to store all the extra sugar beet I don't know how it's going to pan out so uh, we shall see so I will see you in a bit when this is done once I've got the full load um, I think I might bring down the BSM trailer 70,000 that might be an easier option but anyway yes that's what's going to happen next Well, overnight was fairly prosperous. This morning has been far more prosperous. The cows aren't making me a lot of money on milk, to be fair. Um, but that said, overnight we have taken delivery of the 10 cows from Jonathan. We've taken delivery of the rest of the sheep from uh, AW. Uh, so, yeah, we're, we're at maximum that we should have for all the deliveries. What I've decided to do because I dropped off TMR at the livestock market for Barris. While I was there, I've picked up a load of manure, which is going to come back, and I'm going to put it into the silo so that the muck spreader can come and fill up from here. It hasn't always got to go back to the livestock market. We'll have a quick look in the uh, silo in just a second. The sugar beet field on uh, field 8 proved to be a lot more productive than I thought it was going to be, which is fantastic as well. That has now been muck spread overnight and that needs seeding. So while that's unloading, let's have a look. Uh, so we now have uh, barley, yep we knew about barley. Where are we? Sugar beet, we've got 364,000 litres. We only needed 200,000 so that's a win as far as I'm concerned. As you can see, the manure is going up. That should be 70,000. There you go. Perfect. Um, we're right for everything else. Hay, silage, grass. Everything's looking really, really good there. That's fantastic. Right, this can now be parked up. Um, deliveries in the morning, they've all been done. As you saw from the thumbnail, um, I've done water to all of the cell points apart from... I haven't done the horseshoe. Um, and where else is there a cell point I've missed? There was one I didn't do. 
It might just be the horseshoe actually. But I sold water to all of the others. They've all had water. The garden centre, the brewery, Silly Bakery, the car wash and the pub. They've all had water. Um, fuel run. I only did one fuel run and that was down to the docks. That was to be shipped off to the various people that need it. I haven't done a fuel run to the um, petrol station and I haven't done a fuel run up to the um, the airport um, airfield. That hasn't been done either. So I've potentially today got two more fuel runs I could do. As you can see though, the money's way up. Um, which is exactly where we need it to be. The farm is prospering. Now what I'm going to do, because the money's gone up, because we've done pretty well out of that, what I'm going to do is go into the right menu. I'm going to pay off the loan. Because I borrowed some at the start. So you know what? Let's pay off. Down to zero. No loan repayments, no interest. Fantastic. That's a weight off my mind. Right, seeding. I'm going to need to seed. Uh, actually, that's the thing I was going to do. Uh, I need to seed field eight. So I'm going to take the challenger um, with the Amazon condor. That will go over and that will seed. I'm going to put barley in that one as well. I want to make sure I've got enough barley, whatever happens. Field 20 is probably going to be soybean again. Not again. It was barley before. I'm going to put soybean. So I'll have field 15 and 20 be soybean. That should be quite productive. Now, what I am going to do, I'm going to sell the slurry tanker. Because I haven't really used it. Once I got the the muck spreader, I've been using that quite a lot. I haven't really touched this, but I do need. I've got the the boom sprayer for for spraying fertilizer, but I need something I can go over the fields with now, because they're in their first growth stage. Most of them, they need something putting on them. So whether that's fertilizer or whether to use the boom sprayer or not, I don't think I can go over them with the slurry sprayer spreader, because I think the wide tires might damage the crops but in their first growth stage it might not so I don't know I'm a little bit uncertain what to do there for the best um, that's the the only the only one of the downsides to not running seasons is the fact that I've got um, why do I keep pressing that menu I didn't mean to press this one I've got my plant growth top right hand corner set on slow the only other option is off um, and as slow as it goes it's still seems to grow fairly quickly. Oh, the other thing I haven't done as well. Eggs, we haven't done those for a while, have we? Let's collect the eggs up while we're here. Then we'll get down to field eight. We'll get that planted. Um, and then I think, yeah, we'll see how we're going. Whether or not to get rid of the, uh, oh, it's one of the steps as well. Whether to get rid of the slurry spread or to give it a go. I'm not too sure, really. So let's get this down. Now once Milton's Maltings has got their 500,000 litres, they or they should already be in the process of converting that barley to malt. That will go across the road to the brewery. The full intention, right from the start of this Let's Play, was to get the brewery up and running again. Because it had kind of fallen into disrepair, and we've been gradually working on that. So the malt will go across the road, that will go into the brewery. Um, I'm going to bring down some honey from the bees and we're going to do like a honey beer I mentioned this like I say, right back at the start um, we are going to do a milk stout so we're just thinking of various different beers that we can produce that is still on the cards that is still on the table that was the whole point was to get the brewery up and running and re-establish the seals in the local area And I think we're doing a pretty good job of that, actually. Um, we've got potatoes need harvesting down in field 34. Yep. And also we've got the sugarcane harvest over in field 20, which is going to be a big one. It's going to be pretty awesome, actually. It's going to take a while, but it's going to be pretty awesome.
So, in goes the barley. That will give me plenty of fields for barley now. Again, if I go over, doesn't matter, but I'd rather go over than full short. And, and that'll be everything I need for there. Like I said, I've got corn growing at 11. That'll finish off my contract for gypsums. And then I've got... What else? Uh, I think I'm pretty much there on a lot of the things. I've got some contracts for logging. I've got a contract for wood chipping. Um, those are going to be coming too. Get on that. I'm going to try this slurry tanker actually in the field. Well, I'm... I'm a bit uncertain, but I'll give it a go. Even if oh, did I think I'm trying to think now. Again, this is me thinking out loud because I've done so many episodes on this now. Uh, did I take slurry from the slurry store up and put it into the liquid storage tanks? I can check that. That's not a problem. Now I'm going to do this with the the case because it's got the narrows on just in case I can back off the field in an emergency <laughs> if I need to now as I recall this slurry spreader I had a few issues with this didn't I when I first used it fingers crossed I don't know if it will let me slurry on a field that's kind of already on the, on the go sort of thing you know I'll just go and do go over the corner, pull the trailer over it, and see if it damages the crops. Yep. Okay. That must be the second growth stage then. Yeah. Oh no. Okay, well, that's not going to work on there. I'm considering just getting a um, a fertiliser spreader um, just to flick like granules everywhere, I think. That might not be a bad idea. There's a few available, and the spread's normally pretty good on them, in all honesty. Why do I seem to hit that every single time? Well, for the time being, spray will be the way to go. I have been using the liquid fertiliser that I got from Dan. Every time I come back having done a spraying job, I just refill from the pallets. So, uh, that's working pretty well. Right, okay. That's frustrating, but never mind. It is what it is. All the fields need a spray, all the ones that were seeded, because they've all gone through at least their first growth stage now. Um, because I muck spread, and I think most of them were fertilised when I seeded, they need a third state, so... Let's get this going. Boom's high enough, we're clearing the sunflower heads. I did move the um, JCB down to the market garden, and that's all been. I've been. I kind of a lot of these things I'm doing in the background. I'm making sure the market garden's ticking over, um, filling up the manure, filling up the water butts. That's all working just fine. I filled up the manure and the water butts down at the um, the egg cell point, the little vegetable. Uh, Cell point? It's not a cell point, is it? The vegetable stand, vegetable stall, that's what I was. Those were the words I was looking for. Great demand airport for fuel. Hang on just a minute. You know what? Uh, I'm going to leave this in the field, right here. 
let's see what we're going to get right a great demand for fuel at the airport this could be massive You know how I keep saying weird things happen, like the stars align, that, you know, this is just so bizarre. I mean, it's not like I'm short of money, but a great demand. I'm just curious to see what that is. I've never come across one before. Not for fuel. Is it a proper great demand? Or is it these mythical ones that you get now, where you, it says it's in blue and it's actually less than some of the other sell points you're selling for or buying for it's you know it's weird the old great demand on fs15 was mental proper great demand okie dokie well this this is probably going to be how we end this episode um hopefully on a massive payout we'll see how we go um, I have got some sugarcane equipment I need to buy actually. Um, the sugarcane harvester is being shipped because the other stuff was shipped out. Um, but I do need a trailer. Uh, what else do I need? It might just be the trailer. I've got the harvester, isn't it? Yeah, a sugarcane trailer of some description. But anyway, I'm going to see you up at the up at the uh, the airfield and um, let's see what happens, shall we? Okay, we're here. Fingers crossed this doesn't go horribly wrong. <laughs> so. Well, it's just great demand, to be fair. For that load that, that paid out 257, I've had some that have paid out 240, 250. Well, I'm saying it's great demand. It's not. Oh, that was a bit of a damp squib, wasn't it? Oh, I thought it was going to be hundreds of thousands, you know. Still, it is what it is. Um, and on that mild disappointment. <laughs> that's the end of this episode um i hope you've enjoyed it if you have give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching <laughs>